Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my Terraria Master playthrough. In the last episode we got ourselves a Daedalus Stormbow and some Holy Arrows. In this episode I'm gonna get myself more Holy Arrows just to be safe, some potions and I'm gonna defeat the Destroyer. At least I hope I will. This pumpkin down here is pretty funny. It fits perfectly into the hole. And it doesn't even have contact to direct sunlight. Rainbow slime! And a flying fish in a cave. Alright, oh since because of the royal gel I have, the rainbow slimes don't attack me. That's fortunate. I think those are pretty strong normally. Bat hook. How good is that compared to the Illuminat hook? It's better. What's that sound? Oh, it's the Nimbus. I'll use the Illuminati hook just because it has multiple arms. And I'm not used to having myself unhooked when I throw a second hook. Ah. The unicorns just not spawn if it's raining. Because I have two immediately after it, started, uh, after it stopped raining. Coincidence? I think not. Where's that duck? Why is it so loud? Hey, a megaphone. Not a, f not a clock. For once. Is there a duck in here? Two ducks in there. No, the pumpkin. I don't like raves. They're one of the worst mobs in the game. Alright, let's go back then. There we go. Two already. Blessed apple. Perfect. should be enough now to make myself a little amount of uh, of uh, holy arrows and after that I just need to get some potions hopefully I have the ones that I probably need already 3000 arrows should be enough for at least one destroyer I'm also gonna use the star cannon or the star shooter because it did really really well against the wall of flesh and that probably works against the worms as well. Ah, hello pups. So I can upgrade the star cannon after one defeated uh, mechanical boss. Now let's look what potions I have. Thorns will be good. Um, hard reach. Okay. 
I need to make myself some potions. Are there any good ones left that I can even that I can even make? I really need to start fishing soon. Does not look like it. Then I have everything I need now. So now all there is to do is wait until night time, as well as obviously craft the the spawner. I have enough for one. That isn't very good. I need to farm souls. I'm gonna switch out some stuff and I'll put away my... No, not the endless quiver. The wooden arrows and just put the holy ones above that. Yep, now it works. Alright, I'm gonna fight the destroyer up here and hopefully I won't get too close to the base to trigger it to attack my NPCs. Oh well, just stay far enough away from the base so that my NPCs are safe from it. Alright, the time has come. Let's buff up and let's do this. in there. Stupid wyvern! Why do those fuckers spawn during a boss fight? That doesn't make sense, it's so unfair. Uh, well, that's gonna be it for this episode of my Terraria Master Mod playthrough. We got pretty, uh, we got a pretty good start with the destroyer, then a wyvern killed us. So next episode I'm gonna do the battle a lot further down, and I'm also gonna mix my current strategy with the stormbow and such with the box strategy i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel you can also leave a comment if you have anything nice to say or just any suggestions and i will see you all in the next video bye bye